a video about a miniature digital volt and amp meter I bought off Deal Extreme. I'm going to power it up for you. Nice display. I've added an on off switch to it. Didn't unit didn't come with it. Um, I added this so I could turn because uh, it's going to go onto my trailer. So I want the uh, display to be able to turn off. There's the back of the unit there. There's two pods in the back, one for adjusting voltage and one for adjusting amperage. Unit comes with a 100 amp shunt, this particular one. You can buy lower amperage shunts and higher amperage ones. Uh, have it hooked up to a 12 volt 500 watt power supply. Have an automotive brake light bulb hooked up. This unit was a uh, shunt that had to be calibrated as it came uh, with these two slots in it, but I had to elongate them so the resistance was a little bit more in the circuit so the amperage would draw, would read accurately. Uh, you can find uh, online what an automotive bulb of this kind would uh, draw normally in amperage. Uh, this way you can use a digital volt ohm and amp meter to accurately calibrate your unit. Now I've added that on off switch in there. I'm going to show you that. And now the display is off, but as you can see, the unit is still operating. As this is going to be going into my trailer, so I don't want that display to be on all the time. Now this unit uh, displays amperage on negative side of the power source. As you can see, negative side coming through on the power supply. There's your load bulb. That is your sense wire for your amperage and a black wire is your common ground. This unit can be powered up separately as the unit display itself and only requires a minimum of 5 volts which I do have hooked up. When this unit goes into my trailer that power wire will be connected to the regular 12 volt sense wire because I don't have another external source for power. So this unit does not does not require an external another an external power source. You can use the same one and it will read accurately. Turn that back on. And then I just mounted it in this nice little plastic box I had. Let's see that there. And this cover will go here. This is my mounting piece. And then that will snap on top of it.